garden tour. It is the first day of summer here and the garden's growing crazy. We've had a lot of rain. We had 70 mils one day and 20 mils the other day this week. So nearly 100 mils in the week and we've also had some really hot sunny weather so things are just taking off. Let's go have a look and see what's growing. The tomatillos are fruiting and flowering so we've got some fruit ripening there and heaps of new blossoms and baby fruit so that's super cool this is my tropical bed um, it's a little bit of a mess at this back um, area but basically we grow all our subtropical things in here like bananas um, even though we get snow just over there this bed here has heaps of flowers in it um, because it's right next to the house and I like to walk past it but I also pop veggies in here like kale and cabbages and broccoli and garlic. The raised beds are going well. Um, the corn's starting to get some nice height on it. The melon ground cover is starting to get lots of leaves and some of the beans have come up. Some of them got eaten by slugs and snails so I need to re-sow those but um, that's filling out nicely. And then on this side, few things going to flower but this will mainly be eggplants in here so they're starting to flower and grow nicely. Some of them are um, overwintered from last year in the hothouse and then some are grown from seed as well. This bed is going nuts. The bunya bunya pine's just fallen over so I'm going to pick that up. It's very windy here today. <laughs> um, let's walk up it. We have leeks and onions and spinach 
and cabbages and sprouting broccoli in this section here as well as some sunflowers and dahlias some broccoli starting to get harvestable this is sprouting broccoli so it gets a small head at the top and then lots of side shoots these here are mangle wurzels they are kind of like a beetroot but they get really big they can get up to 12, um, 18 kilos I'm not gonna let them get that big but you can see the root there it's getting huge um, what else do we have in here we've got some snow peas along the back need to pick those today let's keep walking and let's see what we've got Up this row I've got kale and onions and carrots and celeriac, that's celeriac there. I've um, got lots of capsicums interplanted because once these winter crops come out um, these guys will take over. Have a heap more onions there and then we've got some brassicas over here so let's head there next. got some Brussels sprouts I've got some cabbages in the back over there and some more Brussels sprouts here all my um, cauliflowers are done and um, just a little bit of broccoli left I've got a couple of kohlrabi here and my um, broad beans they need to be harvested probably today and processed so I can use them through winter I'll just be freezing them I'll shell them and, and freeze them just the first um, pod so I don't know if you've had broad beans before, but I'll show you. Um, I'll show you how you peel them. So you you pull the first pod, and then you have to peel the second layer of skin off too. Um, if I eat them fresh, I always take this for, um, this second skin off. But if I freeze them, I just freeze them. Um, with the second skin on as well and um, I put that in soups and stews and curries and it's fine um, no issues there and it saves a heap of workload this is my bed lined with calendula the calendula attracts beneficial insects and pollinators I harvested the last of my cauliflower yesterday so this will get a layer of that beautiful compost and a layer of straw and I'll put some more zucchinis here I've got another row of dahlias there because they're pretty and we've got some walking onions here some potato onions a few more cabbages um, some Chinese kale my zucchinis are coming on I've got a four varieties I've got Rondonese I've got Lebanese Black Beauty and Golden and my beautiful Romanesco broccoli I'm hoping this will develop a nice tight head because we are heading into the warmer weather now and a few of my beetroots so that's this top section done oh of course I've got asparagus here and my cane fruit behind so um, yeah that's that section done let's go down the bottom and see how that's growing so we're going to go look at the monster veggie patches now I've got artichokes about to flower these are all left for the pollinators because um, we've had enough this year we'll wait for some more next year um, the cover crop here has been cut and it's dried nicely and I've intersown with um, pumpkin and melons I was going to plant corn in there but I decided that I'm going to plant it on this side this year so we have a better chance of having some really nice juicy sweet corn In this first bed, we pulled out a heap of sugar beets yesterday to process into sugar. Um, and so now the tomatoes and some flowers are being interplanted there. Pulled out the rest of the leeks, except for the ones going to flower. So they're there for the pollinators and also for the seed. I have no other um, onions uh, flowering at the moment that will cross pollinate tomatoes desperately need a steak in here and I've got a few more Brussels sprouts growing in this one the Cape gooseberry 
doing phenomenal. I grew this from seed last year and it's overwintered in this spot beautifully. Um, we're about to get a storm, so it's just gone really windy and cloudy, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's a really great um, permaculture plant if you can get your hands on some seeds. Pulled out the rest of the garlic from here yesterday, um, composted and mulched on top. And then on this side, um, we planted in some tomatoes. They're really small, but they're there. Um, and then I lined this bed with dahlias because I really like them, if you haven't noticed. And then this bed has corn directly sown in it. Um, and then I'll grow beans up the corn. And then I've got melons that will um, be a ground cover through here. Um, under the Tagasaski trees, we've got some of the late harvest garlic, which is a long storage garlic. It um, stores for about 12 months with some more tomatoes and flowers, more tomatoes and flowers on this side too. In the middle, I've got bolotti beans, which I'll grow um, and then dry them so we can use them through winter. And then a heap more tomatoes. As you can tell, we like tomatoes. We use a lot of tomatoes, fresh and preserved. Um, the rosella and okra is doing all right. It's slowly um, growing. It has been a little bit cool though. And then the cucumbers, they're growing beautifully. And we're starting to get lots of flowers and lots of fruit. So heaps and heaps of flowers going on in there. These are the pickling cucumbers. I've then got salad cucumbers, um, West Indian burr cucumbers. These are supposed to be super productive. Not sure what they taste like. It's my first year growing them, but looking forward to trying them. And then a second variety of pickling cucumbers. And we've got more tomatoes here with a few last brassicas. Of course, all the alpine strawberries lining the beds. Chilies here growing beautifully from last time. Um, tomatillos there, still growing beautifully from last time. Eggplants putting on some beautiful growth. Um, capsicums doing really nicely as well. Um, bush tomatoes here, so I don't need to stake them supposedly, but you can see we get some strong winds and they're starting to lean, so I probably will stake those. Gladioli spikes coming up nicely. Potatoes there, need another mulch, but they're growing nicely. But yeah, you can see that the garden's growing beautifully with this summer weather. Thank you so much for tuning in to my garden tour. I hope to see you next time on the vlog. Bye.